friends in my previous video i have already discussed how you can perform convolution of two signals without using con function obviously in discrete domain in matlab okay which is very important uh, lab experiment for your digital signal processing subject point of view so just have a quick recap what we have done uh, earlier that uh, we have taken two sequence x of n as 1 2 3 1 which is starting from 1 and h of n as 1 2 1 minus 1 uh, which is basically starting from n equal to minus 1 because the arrow is showing at n equal to 0 the amplitude is 2 that means at n equal to minus 1 the amplitude is 1 so the h of n is basically starting from n equal to minus 1 all right then what we have done we have just made the convolution result we have not plotted so in my this video i am going to show you how you can plot the convolution uh, result in matlab okay so see x of n was this and h of n was this so what we have done we simply created this matrix and we have taken diagonal sum okay so basically and we have also discussed the algorithm for that also basically we have taken two input sequence x and h where enter the first array you just give in x enter the second array you just give in h that does not matter in which uh, which one you are putting in which variable because x convolve with h is equivalent to h convolve with x all right then what we have done we have created this particular matrix so basically after that we have taken diagonal sum so for that this particular code is there already i have explained in my previous video so i am just uh, uh, running uh, my slides uh, quickly if you want you can check my previous video where i have explained in detail all right then what we have done we have taken diagonal sum and we have uh, taken that sum in y variable y equal to y cdc here already we have defined y y as one empty variable okay so at the end of the execution in y variable our result is going to be stored this is step three step four we have just displayed the y that is convolution result but we have not plotted but to visualize this obviously we should plot the sequence so what we can do now the uh, matter of fact is that how we can plot so for plotting obviously you should know already uh, see already you have your sequence just you have to uh, know what is the time sample range for which your convolution sequence is there so for that the rule is uh, in theory you might have already studied this that rule is suppose y is basically convolution result of uh, y is the sequence which is basically uh, you can get by co uh, convolution result of x and h then the y expansion the, the time sample expansion will be from what to what see suppose x of n this uh, x of n has time sample expansion n1 basically for this particular example n1 is from where to where n1 is starting from 0 colon 1 colon 3 right see how we uh, how i have written this see arrow mark is showing this particular first sample is corresponding to n equal to 0 so starting index is 0 and ending index is what 1 2 3 so obviously 3 with implementation of 1 so for n equal to 0 this am amplitude is 1 for n equal to 1 amplitude is 2 for n equal to 2 amplitude is 3 and for n equal to 3 amplitude is 1 like that only it will go for discrete signal right similarly if you consider this h h c suppose we define n2 that is the time sample range for the h function of the system response in the n2 variable then n2 is starting from minus 1 2 minus 1 colon 1 incrementation of 1 2 c if this corresponding to n equal to minus 1 then this corresponds to n equal to 0 this corresponds to time sample n equal to 1 and this corresponds to uh, time sample n equal to 2 so basically here n2 is going from minus 1 to 2 okay now our convolution result will be from which time sample to which time sample the rule says that will be basically suppose that time sample range is n3 then n3 will be basically starting from minimum of n1 plus minimum of n2 here in this case it will be from zero minimum for n1 is 0 and minimum for n2 is minus 1 so 0 plus minus 1 that is from minus 1 obviously with incrementation of 1 because in discrete signal always increment is 1 as you know to the maximum range will be maximum of n1 plus maximum of n2 maximum of n1 is what 3 maximum from a, a maximum of n2 is what 2 3 plus 2 is 5 okay so our convolution result will be in the range uh, from minus 1 to 5 okay 
by the help of this concept we can easily plot our sequence so let us directly go to matlab and let us try to implement see uh, let me show you the matlab code see what i have done here clc clear all closer obviously we have to write then x equal to input enter the first array h equal to input enter the second array these two already we have taken in our previous video also but what extra input we are taking in our this particular code n1 equal to input the input enter the time sample range for x variable n2 equal to enter the time sample range for y variable sorry or h variable okay then the same code whichever i have explained in my previous video that is creating the matrix then this particular part is just to take the diagonal sum all right and here in and display y up to this we have already done in our previous video now extra what do you have to do to plot see as i have told you n3 and n4 that is minimum time sample range and maximum time sample range for the output we have to determine so n3 that is minimum time sample range for output sequence y or this system response is nothing but minimum of n1 plus minimum of n2 as i have just told in my theory discussion just earlier i have mentioned and similarly n4 that is the maximum time sample range will be maximum of n1 plus maximum of n2 okay then r that is the actual time sample range for output will be minimum uh, with incrementation of 1 to maximum all right then stem r comma y that's all so let us check whether our code is working or not enter the first uh, array so first array is what our in this particular case our first array we have taken as one two three one okay like this question will come and you have to solve in your lab exam okay one two three one and see the range is from zero to three right so zero colon one uh, sorry one colon three second array is what from where to where to where uh, see from uh, that is 1 to 1 minus 1 okay so 1 to 1 minus 1 and range will be from where to where see minus 1 to 2 with incrementation of 1 so minus 1 to 1 colon 2 that's all click enter see this is our system response now you can add some things like title x level y level those things you can do by your own and you can check okay so this is how you can plot your convolution result let us check for one more example to have a clear idea and you just try to implement in your uh, theoretical way also to verify the result suppose let me take this particular sequence x of n this input sequence which is basically 3 11 7 0 uh, minus 1 for 2 and the uh, time sample range for this input sequence is from minus 3 to 3 and system response is given as 2 3 0 minus 5 to 1 where uh, the uh, system response is given for minus 1 to 4 range let us try to plot what may be the possible convolution output so let me just copy here and paste it here control p just let us remove the space enter enter the time sample range from where to where minus 3 to 3 okay our input sequence is from minus 3 colon 1 colon 3 and then second is what to where that is this one right so control c and here paste control v all right and then uh, our system is basically from minus 1 to 4 so basically it will be from minus 1 to 4 you just write enter see this is our uh, output response okay so basically it is starting from time sample minus 4 up to 8 it is plotted and different amplitudes are shown here okay if you want you can use subplot command and in the same window you can uh, implement uh, or you can plot the input sequence and system uh, that is impulse response or the system response also like that you can do okay i hope you have understood this the same program if it is asked with respect to inbuilt function then you just simply use conf function which is already there in matlab that is in matlab inbuilt function and you can perform that very easily right so basically that code also i am going to provide along with this particular code in the description of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching practice questions based on convolution like uh, you know basically convolution the question may become as twisted form like in exam they may give proof the uh, theorem 
that a uh, convolution of x and h is equal to convolution of h and x okay that uh, in that case you have to just uh, arbitrarily assume some sequence and you have to write the code uh, and you have to show the uh, two outputs are coming as same okay this type of questions also may come in exam so practice this well this is very important topic thank you for watching and if you have any doubt regarding the algorithm uh, to compute the uh, convolution linear convolution without using built in function Please check my previous video for detailed explanation. Okay, that link also I am going to provide in the description. Okay, thank you.